Fixing latency variation in Rocket League is actually really easy and it only requires one step. It's actually by buying an Ethernet cable. Now, of course, an Ethernet cable is a great product, which I definitely recommend you buy. And this is a cable which you plug into your router and then you can plug that into your console or your PC and you can get a wired connection, which is really, really quick. This is a lot better than a wireless connection and I recommend you get a wired Ethernet cable. It is actually really good, it improves your speed a lot and it will definitely fix your latency variation in Rocket League. But the problem is, not all of us can put a wire from our network all the way into our PC or console, which is probably upstairs in your room. So we can't all afford a Ethernet output source, which you can put in your room. We can't all afford that, of course. And if you can, well, that is great. You don't need to be watching this video. But... You can get something called a power line adapter and that is, it's very cheap, it's around £20 I would say and uh, there's one for like £40 which is a TCP one, it's great, it's really good and I do recommend you buy it. But you plug that in, let's say downstairs where your network is, you plug the wire into the network and then plug that into the plug socket and then you get the other power line adapter and they'll come with two. You plug that into your console or your PC and you plug that into the power socket. Now this is a lot better than a wireless connection and it's definitely going to improve your latency variation and that is very important, let's be honest, we don't want to play Rocket League with lag. So that is a great thing to buy, of course it is very quick, it's a great thing to use and I do recommend you buy it, however there is also another alternative. Now this alternative is more expensive but it's definitely there if you really want that maximum performance. This is called a Mocha or a Mocha adapter. Now this can be quite expensive. You might want to have a search on Google after this video and have a look at how much it is, if it's in your price range or not. Because it might be in your price range, you might be able to afford it and you might get some top quality connection to fix your latency variation. Now, essentially, I'm going to explain it really briefly, but it's basically you plug it in to your router and then you plug that other mocha adapter into the other mocha adapter and you plug that into your console your tv and it's essentially a wired connection and it's obviously better than a power line adapter but it is more expensive than a power line adapter so if your budget is lower i do recommend you get a power line adapter but of course if you can afford a mocha adapter go ahead buy it it is so good i do recommend buying it it's such a great item so guys, if you do want to fix your latency variation, choose one or the other, power line adapter or a mocha adapter. They're both great products, of course, power line adapter being a bit weaker. So my Wi-Fi is currently 100 megabytes per second and I use a power line adapter and I'm currently getting around 50 megabytes per second. It's not amazing, but it does the job and it definitely does have an impact on your ping in Rocket League and it is very, very good to fix the lag in Rocket League because that is the most annoyingest thing when you're playing and you're just lagging. If you can't afford both of them I will definitely be uploading more videos on how to fix latency variation. I'm going to be uploading a lot more. Make sure you watch out for them because they'll definitely fix your latency variation. But these two power line adapter and micro adapter are just two separate items which you can buy to maximize your network and maximize the performance for your gameplay. Make sure you do watch out, subscribe, like the video, comment down below if you think it is a good item to buy. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.